What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So it looks like a downgrade from iOS 17.7.5 all the way down to iOS 11.3 was achieved with working SEP functionality, secure networks, activation, and everything you would expect from a normal iOS device. So the Touch ID would work, the passcode would work, your SIM card would work, everything. This is, however, a tethered downgrade, and this is actually quite big, and it required a lot of developers in the community and quite a lot of work to get it done. Michael posted a couple of screenshots in here demonstrating how they essentially manage to downgrade their device and they also have touch id and passcode functionality which is usually lost on this kind of tethered downgrades however let's explain a little bit what this means so they managed to do this on ipad 6 generation which the latest ios version for that would be ipad os 17.7.5 and they did manage to go back to ios 11.3 which is quite huge it's a huge leap and i'm actually quite surprised that scp or secure enclave processor still works with that big of a jump and very likely this does use the iphone dfu checkmate in the background for those of you who are unaware this is essentially what powers the pelwing jailbreak as well as the checkwing jailbreak and this is actually a bootroom exploit which means that the device is actually exploited in the best way possible right from the beginning which allows this kind of stuff to happen like tether downgrades like jailbreaks that cannot be patched by apple and so on however it's still a big thing because usually this kind of downgrades with checkmate still break a lot of stuff including the SCP so no more passcode no more face ID they sometimes break Wi-Fi they sometimes break activation however according to Michael everything in here does work and everything you would expect from a normal iOS setup is indeed in there so this could be quite a great way to downgrade some legacy devices compatible with the checkmate exploit without sacrificing any functionality anyway this video is brought to you by 8k sec they provide you a course on how to get started with iOS reverse engineering if you always want wanted to develop your own jailbreak and this is a great place to start because they provide in-depth information about the iOS kernel and various security mitigations. Definitely check it out in the link below. So yes, even though this is very likely achieved with the checkmate exploit, which means that it cannot be ported over to newer devices, still if you have one of those devices like the iPad 6 generation, you would be able to experience versions as low as iOS 11, which is quite big, especially since the jump is from iOS 17.7.5, what is supposedly the latest version. So yeah, quite good news for those of you who are interested in retro hardware and would very much like to have older iOS version without sacrificing many features. So thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.